Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this May the 10th. It is a good start to the morning. Another clear sky, full moon out there this morning. It's called the full flower moon, the one in May, the full moon in May. And um, that's because everything's kind of flourishing. Everything is, you know, all the flowers pretty much open at this point or about to be and here we are, full-fledged into spring and looking at summer. Of course, Memorial Day weekend, a couple of weeks away. The unofficial start of summer. Already. Already. Well, starting to feel like it, too, because we had a high of 84 yesterday at the Bowling Green Airport, about 4 p.m. And that was 8 degrees warmer than the average of 76 60 was our low temperature. That was 7 degrees warmer than the average of 53. A year ago, we had a high of 74 and a low of 64 back in 2016. No rainfall yesterday, but we're um, now starting to show a deficit of about a half inch for the month of May and almost two inches now behind for a year to date. I'm still not too concerned by those numbers. I want us to stay on pace, of course, you know, as it comes to rainfall. And I know some of you that are farmers have have been saying, you know, that's enough. We're good. And I th- that's why I think we can, we can stay good for a little while longer before we get another uh, chance of rain. But there is a chance of rain in the forecast uh, as we get into late Thursday into Friday. Uh, looking uh, now at the forecast for today, it's going to be pretty much a carbon copy of what we had yesterday. Breezy, warm, mainly sunny, and we'll go back to about 85, southwest wind at 11. Tonight, partly cloudy, very mild, 65. For Thursday, that's when we'll see that uh, stalled out frontal boundary that's been just north and east of us start to trickle southward as an area of low pressure eases this way. And because of that, I'm looking for an increasing uh, cloud or two on Thursday, but we're gonna hold back on some of the rain for a little while longer before it actually starts. We originally even had a chance of a shower today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So we're gonna push back on the chance of rain until we get into say, later in the day Thursday, but especially Thursday night into Friday. So increasing clouds on Thursday, 84, and then we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms Thursday evening, and pretty much a 70% chance of all-day showers and thunderstorms on Friday with a cooler high at 70 as that cold front finally moves through. But by Saturday... We're still looking good for Mother's Day weekend if you're planning an outing, uh, cookout, going to the lake, whatever you want to do for mom to celebrate Saturday and Sunday. Both look terrific. Sunshine and 74 on Saturday, and then Mother's Day, Sunday, sunny and 80. Monday, we'll see sunshine and 83, and here we go warming back up. Mostly sunny, 85 by next Tuesday. So some rain chances in there, but uh, we're going to hold back and not uh, bring them here until late Thursday. Okay, there you go. Expect another warm and breezy, sunny day like yesterday for today. That will do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky. 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Later this afternoon, if you can, join me for my radio show. It's the Chris Allen Radio Show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.